Perry P. Patrick Wilderness Salvation up here on another uh, wintertime camp. I came up here yesterday up, uh, this is called Grizzly Gulch. It's, uh, it's a really nice area. In the summertime, wintertime, whatever. It's kind of uh, famous for people up in here hunting elk and bear and somebody's down here down the canyon hunting. The, I think they, their hounds treat a cat, I believe. But uh, anyway, I'm just uh, I'm just having a great time here. Um, I love it. Something I wanted to. In fact, I think I said that right there. Something I want to show you today is this shelter. And uh, you've seen the super shelters I've done. I've, I imagine in the past I've, I've made uh, several videos over the last couple of years or so. And, uh, and this one's a little bit different. I, I decided to, uh, to uh, make a Yukon chair out of my poncho and then put a shelter over top of, the, uh, over top of that. Because to do a Yukon chair, you have to do a, you make a tripod out of some out of some sticks and poles, and then your, and then the poncho hooks onto there, and then it turns a, it turns into a chair, and uh, and so I decided, hey, I I like that, those chair those Yukon chairs are really comfortable to sit in. I've slept in them overnight before, and uh, and I thought, hey, that might be kind of fun, make a super shelter out of a Yukon chair. So I did it and I'll tell you what. I I think that might be that might be about my favorite way to do a super shelter now. It's really nice and handy. Easy to get in and out of. This I've got it pulled back now, but this is my door which just comes down and when I get inside of there, I take my boots off and everything, my socks off. And I just put my boots over this plastic at the entrance here and it holds it down. You see it kind of puffs out here, um, and that's because the air inside of there is warmer than out here, so it puffs out kind of like a, kind of like a uh, hot air balloon. And I, if I pull this plastic down a little more, you see it'll even puff out even more here. So I'm sitting facing this way inside that bubble, inside that super shelter, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm 70 degrees inside of there. And uh, you know, it's last night 14, 15 degrees out here. I just, man, I'll tell you, I love that darn shelter last night. That is so warm. All right, so I'm gonna take you on a tour inside the, inside the super shelter here. And get this plastic pulled back. All right, so here I am inside the shelter. And uh, this is very cozy. It's uh, if you can sleep in a lazy boy or something like that, you can easily sleep in here, no problem at all. You can adjust how much it reclines by the third leg of the tripod, by how far back you put it, so you can slope it. You can slope it down more or more upright very easily. And uh, this worked very nicely for me uh, last night. And uh, and normally when I get in here, I don't, I'm not going to wear a coat. Uh, I'll wear what I've got on. Um, in fact, last night I was tempted to take my shirt off as well. It's a little, plenty warm in here. <laughs> and uh, you can see my ugly socks right here, <laughs> drying them. That actually, that actually works pretty nice because the heat is, uh, the fire is to my left here. So... If I want to dry something, I can hang it over my mittens or whatever. I can hang it over that and uh, you get the direct heat from the fire. Plus it's warm inside here anyway. And, uh, and so that'll help dry things or whatever. But I'm very cozy inside of here. I can lay back. I can, you know, do whatever I need to. Now, I had, I had more heat from the fire coming, you know, well, the heat from the fire coming from the left. And it heated, it warmed this up really nice, this black poncho. And I think uh, probably any dark color would work. Probably virtually any of the colors we have except for maybe orange. But 
I imagine coyote would even work fine. But, you know, it worked it, it worked nice. I don't know if it's that big a deal because it's you're already room temperature in here, so you don't necessarily need more. And then back here behind me is uh, is this mylar space blanket. So any of the heat from the fire, see normally infrared can just pass right through all this stuff, but infrared can be reflected. So by having this up here, the heat from the fire comes through here and, and what doesn't get trapped in here that normally would shoot out the back side, it hits this and then it bounces down onto me. So that gives me extra, extra heat and you can, and you can feel it pretty, pretty good at times. Now I didn't, I didn't need to have a big blazing fire or anything last night because we're only in the mid-teens last night so it's not like it was exceptionally cold but but anyway I mean that makes it does make a lot of difference uh, if you try it with and without this you'll be amazed how much difference that makes but but anyway so here's my this is my deal this tripod right here uh, is the frame for the chair it's uh, lashed together up top with the third leg that goes out the back and then and then the poncho is just hung on there you just put a cord through it like as if you're setting up a hammock with the poncho and then you just tie that around the top of this tripod down here on the bottom it just wraps around a log and ties and, the, and then the ends tie back up there and so it just turns it all into a nice little chair all right so now i'm going to deconstruct this and uh so you can see what this shelter consists of and like i say it's just uh just a Yukon chair that we threw a shelter over, tarp and a plastic. And I just covered the edge with snow. You can use sticks or whatever you want. And this is just very light, very inexpensive painter's plastic, half mill. It's all disposable, so you don't have to worry about you can use it one time and throw it away. Doesn't matter. Dispose of the Space blanket too. So here's our canopy. So as you can see, it's just a tripod, three legs. These two here need to be a little bit stiffer because your body weight's kind of pushing back on these. This and as you can see, that's like the size of a broom handle because it's just pushing back that direction. So you know, it's just got to be strong enough to do that. So you see this cross piece here, that's, that's where you sit. That's kind of like the edge of your seat. And, uh, and then this goes back up to here. The end, see it's just folded in half around this stick. And the end is up here, the little tab on the very end is tied off up here at the top on both sides. This is the head end right here of, if you're doing a hammock. And it's just cords pulled through there just like a hammock would be and then it's just tied around these sticks right here to hold it in place and then you just get in there and sit in it so anyway this is perry peacock with wilderness innovation enjoy my time outdoors sleeping last night in this very very cozy super shelter over top of a yukon chair using our poncho right here pssl is what i use this time but anyway, so enjoy your time out. Be safe. Try some fun things like this. Uh, I'm always, I, I usually, I can't wait to, I can't wait to get going. Try Trying something new every week, it seems like. So have a great day, and we'll see you on the next video.